You gotta take control. Life's too short. Get out of your head. Make a better life instead. You gotta give it all your best. So put your hands up to the sky and live your best life. All right, don't just let it go by. Just try. Oh my, got only one life. Got only this time. We gonna get it right. You gotta let go of those who don't. Belong in your tribe. So put the bad out of your life. Hey guys, it's Jedi Joey. Hey guys, it's Jedi Joey coming back at you with another video. As we approach Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2, one... Oh, did I say something else? Oh, okay. Um, so, sorry about that, guys. Um, as we approach the next part, one of the things we're anticipating is... One of the things I want to talk about was, in Cobra Kai Part 1, well, I know a lot of people are salty on Part 1. I know there's a lot of issues for some people that they have. I quite enjoyed it. But I do have some gripes and whatever. But one of the things that I did that did stand out to me in part one was a new character that was introduced, and that character is the new, the new villain of the show. And I said all the way back in season five, if Cobra Kai is going to be a legitimate threat, and we're heading into the final season, we need to establish real villains. When Hawk was in Cobra Kai, he was a bully, not a villain. When Kylo was in Cobra Kai, he was a bully. Tori was a bully. They all had great areas in them. They, they weren't villains. They were bullies. There's a difference. And here, I wanted real ruthless, real threatening villains. And so when we see Kim Da Un's true stories that she spoke, students she spoke about in season five, we finally see that vision come, become a reality. And it becomes this amazing thing where you get to see how tough these Korean students are. When we first introduced to Yoon, a lot of people thought Yoon was the main threat. But Yoon was easily overthrown by our new incredible fighter, Quan. And Quan is played by amazing actor Brandon H. Lee, who is an incredible Taekwondo, karate, black belt, martial arts, 13-time champion in Taekwondo tournaments. He's perfect for Cobra Kai. And this dude is doing an amazing job. Like, Not only do you have a character that can fight and look good and his moves are lethal, he has this animate energy about him that makes him feel each of the villains in Cobra Kai have their own different energy Kreese is more of like uh, I'm going to stand here and growl at you and give you orders Silver's more crazy kick you in the face type type of way Quan is and he's also collected where Quan is much more just like ruthless in the sense that he this guy is a character that is going to come into this tournament and do everything he wants to do to win, whatever it takes. He is completely heartless. He has no fear. He has no doubts. He is just skill. He's just a beast. He is a weapon that Kreese has basically unsheathed his sword. He has wedged this weapon into the earth to destroy everything. And one of those people that we talk about, so one of the things that we must talk about is in, in Cobra Kai Season 4, we have this incredible fight between Hawk and Robbie, and so Hawk is obviously a great character, even though he's been diminished in le later seasons, they for the writers forgot how he is used. But, in in this, in season four, they had an incredible fight, it was awesome, showing the athleticism between Tanner Buchanan and Jacob Bertrand. But now we get to upgrade, because now we're in the final season, we're not in the All Valley anymore, we're in the freaking Sekai Taikai, a global tournament. And the fights, this is, we were just talking about Bloodsport in our previous video. I think this will be like, I think the second attack is going to be like the Kumite in Bloodsport. It's going to be brutal. We've seen in, in the Into the Dojo's uh, video that Robbie's got some blood on his face. So clearly, someone's going to put that there. Probably Quan, maybe even Yoon. We'll have to see where in the tournament it takes place. But also, it's important to know that Robbie is the captain from Yagido for the male division of the Sekai Taikai. And and that he's one of the captains. You get one one male and one female. And then you have Juan is the is the male captain for Cobra Kai. And so you have the two captains eventually in the heading into the main matches leading into the semifinals. You're gonna have to have these two martial art giants, these two beasts of their craft and their right, go face to face each against each other. And what makes this matchup great is not only are the characters' fights going to be legendary, what brings this so amazing and so full circle 
is that Quan and Robbie, Robbie is going to have to channel his old season three edge of when he was in Cobra Guy and be focused, despite everything, all the turmoil that's going with him, with him and Tori, he needs to pull together to fight this elite and lethal threat. And what makes this fight so interesting and so amazing in this matchup between these two is that Quan uh, and, and Robbie, they're, they're actors, there's going to be so much athleticism in their fight. There's going to be so much amazing... I think this is probably one of the most hyped fights for teenagers, in for our teenage male characters in Cobra Kai Season 6 or Cobra Kai in general because you have two worthy, you know, like Hawk says, finally, a worthy opponent. You have two worthy opponents here. Robbie has the skills to pay the bills, but Quan is just... He's just better. Like, Robbie will ultimately win because of narrative and plot and storyline, but... In a realistic situation, in a real Sekai Taika, in a real Kimute, no way on this earth would Robbie ever win against someone like Quan. Because Quan is ruthless, he is incredibly skilled, incredibly talented, he is so gifted in martial arts, he knows how to throw 540 hook kicks, he knows how to throw um, 720 hook kicks, he knows how to throw full-on hard tornado kicks, and when you talk about the anime influence, he knows how to do full-on split kicks, which is basically taking your both legs, jumping in the air, and kicking with both your legs. Like, this dude is an incredible beast. And I stand by what I say. After Cobra Kai is over, his future is in the live-action Naruto franchise. This man, with his energy, deserves to play Star Wars. Oh, not Star Wars. Deserves to play Sasuke, Uchiha, and Naruto. I mean, his lines in this show are great. Like, when they ask him, when Kreese asks about the, the lesson, oh, what, um, what do you do to take... To take opponent off, it's easy. Just go straight for ahead. <laughs> this, 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 this accent is so good. And then there's also um, my other favorite one. He says is you know you won't be you. How, how do you how do you stop person? How do you stop heart? For with strong kick to ribs. Like like this guy is just he's a genius. He's so lethal. Like I love Robbie. Robbie Keane is one. Oh, they put the skins in there. Oh, nice. Robbie Keane is one. Of, sorry, sidebar guys. My fiance was playing Fortnite for a second. Um, but, so, with Quan and Robbie, you know, Robbie is skilled. Robbie has focus, he has Miyagi, he has stuff. But this is a legitimate, lethal threat character. That This is the guy, the student that everyone should fear. Like, Dimitri, we're going to talk about him in another video, but I fear for Dimitri's life if he goes up against Quan. The only way Hawk stands a chance against Quan is if we get Season 3 Hawk back. Which, writers, if you're listening, we need Dark Hawk. To come back for this tournament. We need him. We need our heroes. We need Miguel, Robbie, and Sam to go to their darkest phases to be able to fully defeat these foes. Because they're lethal. But this guy specifically is legitimate. And the battle between these two will be legendary. Both their moves. The only thing, the only move that I think Robbie could have a chance with is Robbie learns from Chosen and Robbie gets access to the pressure point technique then maybe he stands a chance. But I guarantee you this. Quan will know the silver bullet. Either Master Kim taught him, or Kim Da Un taught him. He will probably learn the silver bullet. He will know Molt, there's the Viper Strike they were practicing. If you look at the miyagi training this season, and you look at the training for, for Cobra Kai, it's laughable. The, the Korean Cobra Kai is so le lethal, so legitimate. I don't understand. Just take all that anger inside and give it moments. Prove to the others that you are the best fighter in the class. And there's only one way to do that. <laughs> あ、なじがんなさい。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね
about this match. Are you guys excited to see Quan versus Robbie? Who you got in this match? In a realistic standpoint, I gotta go Quan, but I think the show will pick Robbie because he's the main character of the good guy heroes. He's the captain. But I think Quan is gonna injure Robbie brutally. Blood across the face. It's gonna be awesome, guys. If you enjoyed my video, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe. And remember, Cobra Kai never dies. Have a great day.